Joseph, wake up. Joseph, wake up, now. Oh my goodness, Mr. Parker, I am trying to take a nap because just sitting here in detention is incredibly boring, and a total waste of my time. First of all, you're not supposed to be sleeping during detention. And second of all, you should have gotten enough sleep last night so that you can be rested for the school day. Why can't you let me take a nap during detention? I am already bored with having to stay after school for an hour every single day. If you can't let me take a nap, then I want to go home now. Joseph, stop it. I especially don't want you throwing a temper tantrum like a little kid. You need to understand why you're in detention every day. And you're not going home because it's only been 15 minutes, and detention lasts for an hour. I want to go home, 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 I want to go home. Why can't you let me go home? Entitled Catherine. Get up off the floor right now, get back in your seat, stop acting like a three-year-old, and I want you to remain quiet during the rest of detention. In fact, I want you to do your homework assignments. That's it. Joseph. I'm going to have to send you to the quiet room until you have calmed down. Do you have any idea what is making me angry? It's not just that I have to serve detention after school every single day. Mr. Parker is an entitled Catherine and won't let me take a nap during detention. This is so not fair, and not very fun at all. I am tired of being in detention, and I am tired of being in the 5th grade. I don't even want to go to 6th grade next year. I'd like to be in preschool or kindergarten instead. But I cannot board Dave's school bus because I am not a preschool student. I have to think of something to get myself to preschool instead of the 5th grade. Wait a minute, I have just the right idea. I'm going to have Karen give me a ride to go animate city preschool tomorrow. And then I will be able to take a nap for 45 minutes, eat popcorn, sing my favorite songs, and watch my favorite show in the whole wide world, Coco Melon. This will be a lot better than being in the silly 5th grade. Lunchbox, check, crayons, check, coloring books, check, looks like I'm all set for school. This is going to be the best day in my life. Looks like my ride is here. I'm going to get to school in a shorter amount of time than when I take the bus. Hello, kid. Are you here to volunteer to help out the little ones in class? Actually, I was held back all the way to preschool because I keep failing every single homework assignment and every single exam. I get zero points on everything, and that's why I got sent to preschool. That sounds unusual, I never heard of anything like that. Are you sure? I'm going to take my seat then, and I cannot wait to be singing Coco Melon. By the way, my name is Joseph Reed. Wait, Joseph, where are you going? Aren't you too big to sit in those chairs? These seats are very little. Why can't they make them bigger? Joseph, you're 11 years old I believe, and that's why you can't fit into those seats anymore. They're made for much younger kids. Now, you're not enrolled in my class, and I think you should be at your elementary school. Not here. I don't want to go to fifth grade. I want to be here in preschool, and I want the chairs and tables to be bigger. Seriously, 
Are you going to throw a tantrum in front of the three, four, and five-year-olds? This is very embarrassing. I agree. A kid who is ten years old, throwing a tantrum. Joseph, I want you out of my classroom, right now. And I will be calling your parents about this. Come with me outside and tell me their phone number, and then you can wait at the main entrance for them to come and pick you up. I want to be in preschool, not fifth grade. I want to take a nap for 45 minutes, eat popcorn, sing Coco Melon songs, and color with crayons. Joseph, that is enough. You're not going to preschool and that is final. So stop throwing your childish tantrums. I never get to do all of those fun things in the fifth grade. All I ever do is sit and listen to Mr. Parker's boring lectures. Why do that when I can color with crayons, listen to Coco Melon? You do realize that you're too old for preschool stuff, because you're 11 years old, and kids your age have already moved on from preschool stuff. Now, more importantly, what you did was inside. Trying to skip class and go into a grade that you're not in. But I don't belong in the fifth grade. I belong in preschool. And that is final. You were in preschool like six to eight years ago. And you don't belong there anymore. Now, because of what you did, you will be grounded until the end of this month. This means no going trick or treating, no watching Coco Melon, no baby shows, no talking with Arthur and Karen, especially. And when you get home from detention, you will immediately go upstairs to your room and start on your homework, and do not slam the door or your grounding will get extended even more do you understand me take me back to preschool 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 Joseph, stop crying like a big baby. I need to concentrate on the road. Hey, don't you call me a big baby, you're an entitled Catherine. And I am going to make sure that you give me $3,000 in compensation when I take you to court. Stop it. Just stop it. Come on Joseph, you need to get to class, you're already late. I don't want to go to school. 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 Mom, I want to go home and watch super simple songs. That's it, Joseph Christopher Reed. I have no choice but to carry you to the school entrance. Hey, put me down right now. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Stop it. Just stop it. You're going to school, and that is final. 